Yes, today is the day, guys. We are heading out on the Long Island Expressway, the I-95, no, I-495. Guys, I'm so excited today because today is the day we have a 2 p.m. tea time. No, not a tea time, a 2 p.m. flight time. We do not play golf, there is no tea time. Guys, we fly planes, we have a 2 p.m. flight time today, scheduled in Ronkonkoma at MacArthur Airport at the Heritage Flight Academy with Daniel at 2 p.m. Oh man, so we're taking the nice ride, we're listening to some good music, got the windows open, and we are getting ready to fly. Um, we are actually going to be flying. The controls are gonna be handed over to us, so that's gonna be awesome. I don't know if I can get any content for you. Um, instructions say, or you know, the tutorial, of arrival at the flight academy it does say no cell phones but we're gonna see if we can sneak this phone in for you guys and if we can we're gonna make some awesome content for you guys so stay tuned stick around and like always let's do yours next baby and yes ladies and gentlemen we just got off the long island expressway we arrived to the heritage flight academy training facility guys out here by macarthur airport out here in Ronkonkoma and let's see you can see the copters flying over there we are super excited there's a ton of space here and today is the day where we get our feet wet and it's gonna be beautiful wow look at this look at this Concorde jet right here wow beautiful look at that thing all chromed out beautiful jeez Wow. And there are the hangars right there. Over in that corner, I can see them. And they are huge. There's the chopper that's landing right there. Wow. So guys, today is the day that we get our feet wet finally. And we're gonna go meet Daniel, our flight instructor. And we're gonna, we're gonna kick ass out there. And there you have it, yeah? Look at all these single engine, these single engine aircrafts right here. Beautiful. Oh man. There she is. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Guys, you can go six to 700 miles on a full tank here. And here we are. We're reaching the training facility here. We're going to spend the next eight to nine months here. Let's pull in and let's get you a better look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it to the Heritage Flight Academy School, the training facility out here in Ronkonkoma. The only downfall is, guys, they don't want any videos taken inside the aircraft. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get some when we do our first inspection to overlook the aircraft before we go up in the sky. But uh, they do have some rules, regulations, and they are persistent and they are firm on them. So we don't want to break any rules, don't want to break any laws. We want to be on our best behavior, but today is when we go in the skies and the weather report is clear and sunny. So that is a great day to fly. We got a heads up this morning that we got the go to fly today due to the weather and uh, it's going to be awesome. So in the meantime, let's find a bathroom and uh, man, I'm excited guys. Dictionary for pilots. Maneuvers are signed by the flight instructor. 
Uh, right here, you can see Northport. It's just okay. on the black little thing there. It, there's right. a big set of stacks. So that's your visual point of where you know. So we'll stay to the east of that and all the way down to about Calverton. So in this area, on right about the North Shore, right. there's one area. And the second one is the Cat Tree Bridge down here, which is by Jones Beach, right. and then all the way down to the Swiss yeah. Point over here. Okay. So we're probably going to go to the South Shore. It's a really nice view over Fire Island. Um, the visibility is great today. You'll see the entire okay. skyline all the way from out oh, here. Cool. It's really, really neat. Very nice. Um, How high will we be flying? So we'll fluctuate our altitude because, you know, um, today your flying is really just going to be the main fundamentals. So straight level, climbs, turns, descents, just really getting a feel for the plane. Interesting. Um, so I'm excited. We'll kind of fluctuate our altitude between yeah. 2,500 feet, maybe 2,000 to 3,000. We'll stay in okay. that kind of range. Okay. Uh, not crazy high. So. Okay. Cool. Okay. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I yeah. my third flight of the day. So. Okay. Good. Nice. Now, do you? Um, this is what you do here, or are you a pilot? Are you like a commercial aircraft pilot? Or so anything? most instructors, to be a commercial airline pilot, you need 1,500 hours of flight time. Uh, so a lot of people get their license to teach before they hit that point so they gotcha. can build their hours because you need a minimum of 500 hours to be able to teach. Oh, yeah. So it gives a thousand oh, hours okay. and pay and not pay you gotcha. to fly. Okay. So I'm in that range of just over about, I'm just under a thousand hours. Of flight okay. Time. Okay, cool. And what's required for a single engine aircraft? So if like you want to get your private pilot license correct. and that's just for you to go and kind of rent a plane or buy your own plane down the road or whatever right. and just go have fun. Uh, you can't get compensated for your flying with this license, but you could go up whenever you want and take whatever you want. You just can't get paid for it, kind of thing. Gotcha. Okay. I yeah. gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So gotcha. that's a separate license, but for your private pilot, which is there's just, a separate license to pick up and drop off and get paid. Yes. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. Is it more flight hours that you need? It is like, significantly more. Wow. Yeah. What so. makes a difference? What differentiates, like. Like if you're if you're an Uber driver on the in the air, <laughs> yeah. then 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 not. I mean, yeah. what? It's just what? how the FAA just yeah, distinguished wow. them all. So more flight hours to do that. Yeah. So for your actual private pilot license, it's a minimum of forty hours, but nobody ever gets it in forty hours. It's usually about sixty to sixty-five. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, depending on how much you come in and what you do. Gotcha. Exactly. Like this gentleman that was here, he's um. Is he close to finish? Or? Yeah, he's very close. Oh, really? Yeah, he's... How's he doing good? Uh, overall, pretty well. Yeah. He had one bad landing today, but besides that, it was fine. When you say landing... Um, landing. Oh, landing. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Landing. So we were just standing uh, like right above the airport and just doing laps of just takeoffs and landings pretty much today with him. Nice. So, you know, that's... Wow. We have a large amount of students. Very rarely do we, we, you know, on average, we get like two or three intros a week that come in just to see. Some people stay to get their license. Some people don't right. just because they want to knock off the bucket list. Or right. Like, hey, I like this. Maybe I'll come back down the road when I have the gotcha, transport. Because gotcha. obviously it's crazy expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, and I hear the hangers are a lot more. They're like astronomically amount. Yeah. yeah. The hangers to buy a hanger. If yeah. You wanted to buy one compared to a plane. You could buy a used plane for, for less than hundred. Yeah. Yeah. The planes we're flying, you could buy for. 55, 50, 60. 60, 000. Yeah, yeah, but the hangers is like an astronomical amount of money, I heard. Yeah, so there's different kind of options you have for that. You have tie-down spots, hanger spots. Uh, the tie-down spots are outside, but Sweet. you'll Sweet. see. We're going to put at the end of the lesson here my last flight of the day. Okay. And then I have a ground after because uh, getting your license is a majority of, you know, ground and flight training. It's okay. not like just your flying. Gotcha. There's a significant amount of information you have to learn to be able to fly safely and understand what's going on in a minute. So obviously there's an exam, there's yeah. exams and stuff. Yes, there is. So the f there's uh, a written exam that you'll have to take with your instructor. So like I'm an instructor, you'd be my student. Cool. You'd take one that I give you before you fly by yourself for the first time. Then cool. after that, you're gonna have to take another written exam prior to you, when you're trying to get your license, you take a written exam. Gotcha. And then after that, the last exam is with an FAA representative. They come here, um, there's two people sitting, so it'd be like the FAA and the examiner and you as the student. It's just you guys in the room face to face and they just he just asks you any question he wants in the book. Really? So, like, wow. Yeah. So okay. Could give you a scenario question of you know something that you should know that maybe you haven't like put together like as a scenario. Right. Right. He right. can ask you however he wants it, whatever he wants, and wow. you have to meet his satisfaction to pass the test. If you say something wrong or say something that's unsafe, you fail. 
Gotcha. Okay. And it's a pain in the ass to deal with the FAA guys. I can imagine. Scheduled and I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you do your first time? Good. Uh, my first time, I killed it. I, yeah, I did a really it. good job. Good. Man. Uh, I, you know, I took eight of them so far. Eight FAA check rides. Oh, for wow. Eight different licenses. Wow. Um, eight different. What, what, what do yeah. you have? What do you have? So I got my private, which is your first. Okay. Instrument rating, which is next. That's to fly through bad weather, clouds, and things like that. You need a special license for it. I can show that you understand. It's a whole different map, whole wow. different knowledge base. Um, so there's only certain types of weather you can fly with this license. Yeah, with the private pilot. Yep. Wow. So you got to maintain special clearances below clouds. You can't fly through clouds because if you do and you're not trained for it, yeah, it, it it's completely different ballgame. The ground knowledge imagine. is so different. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Because now you have no reference to anything. You just right. got to rely on what's inside that exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you got that one? The, yeah. The, the commercial, which was to get paid, compensation or higher. Nice. Uh, my license to teach private pilot. Cool. My license to teach instrument. Cool. And then I got my multi-engine aircraft, so I could fly twin engines, and then my license to teach multi-engine aircraft. Nice, man. So, You're, uh, you got a nice resume, dude. <laughs> you got an impressive resume. Yeah, I, I've, I, I got all of those licenses. I took out a loan, and I was in college for two years. Where'd you go to college? Jacksonville University down in Florida. Oh, Florida, cool. Yeah, That's they nice. had an aviation program. That's where I plan on going. Quite is beautiful. Yeah, I, so this is my last year here, I think. I did all my flight training down there. Oh, nice. So I, I called a, I called um, a flight academy school down there, but they were they were a little bit more money. They were they were more than here. So yeah, and a lot of people require like bulk payments, okay. like where it's like okay, you got to pay for your first twenty yeah. hours outright. Right, right, which right. A lot of people are like, uh, that's a little scary. What if I go and I suddenly don't like, don't it, like it anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you know I'm okay spending like a grand. Right, right, right. Spending they were fifteen. Exactly. Not. They were like fifteen thousand more. They quoted me yeah. than than around here in New York State. Yeah. Florida's getting expensive. It's where yeah. everyone goes, you know. Yeah, but it's a beautiful state. Though. Oh, I love. I I spent uh, four months after I got my license, nice. and me and my buddy just flew around the entire country. Really? So we were bounced around nice. Florida. We got a plane to use. We're paying only for. Oh, gas. so you rent planes? Yeah. Do you own? Do you no, own? I don't. Not yet. Okay, not yet. Too expensive. Not yet. Okay, okay I got you. Yeah. Out. Well, you're still young. You'll you'll get a chance. Yeah, but to rent, it's like you're. you're I was paying just for fuel, so I was paying like, what, ten times. Ten times what it is for a car? No, not even. It's so much cheaper. It's cheaper. So, yeah. So like, say you want to, like me and you want to fly to New London, Connecticut. Right. That's a forty-minute flight from here. You only pay for the time that the engine's running. So if we go for a day trip to New London, Connecticut, yeah. we're paying for two hours of flight time, even though we spent gotcha. twelve hours with the plane. With the plane. Gotcha. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. So and I guess everything is recorded. There's yeah. Um, there, there's uh, two sets of times. One is called your Hobbs. One is called your Tack. Your tack time is engine on to engine off. Uh, sorry, your tack time is uh, time in the air. So yeah. as soon as you take off or you get up above a certain speed, there's a little flap, it gets deflected up. As that flap gets deflected up, the timer starts. And then the other one is engine on to engine off. Sweet, man. So it's cool. all based I've on learned a lot in this last 10 minutes conversation. No, that's cool, man. Yeah. Um, Very nice. To get started, sorry. Yeah, what do you need? Yeah, photo ID. Yeah, photo ID, yeah. So Daniel went to his locker. He'll be back in a few minutes. We are here early because if you are... Or if you know me by now, on time means early. So, guys, we're going to go up in the air early. We're going to go over Fire Island. Um, we're going to go along the coast of Jones Beach. And uh, he's just going to give me a lot, a ton of information. Clearly going to be overwhelmed today, but I think it's going to be good. Um, got great guys, like he mentioned. And, uh, oh, man, I'm excited. Um, I was just asking him basic basic questions at off camera um people that come in that don't know anything about an aircraft they really obtain a lot and if they want to learn you will learn so guys if you want to master something put your mind to it study learn it and man the satisfaction you can get and the luxury of flying who wouldn't want that Guys, let's get to the aircraft, let's do our inspection, and let's get it. So, uh, I was applying to a job a while back, and I needed 0.7 more multi time, which is 42 minutes, a little under an hour. They were trying to charge me 1400 bucks. Damn it, for 47 minutes? Yeah, Damn, I'm like, man. Like, I was like, on. yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Damn. Like, I'll try and reach out to somebody with a plane and see if they'll just let me go up for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh no? 
Pretty much you have to walk it fast too. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. You share the tanger with the medevac. Okay. Northwell, if you know that company. Yeah, Northwell, yeah. Yep, so you see the medevac helicopters. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, so we have uh, there's a company called Model that right runs across the airport over the side. Okay. So they fuel all this up. So they're following up the helicopter. This thing takes jet fuel. Jet fuel. Wow. What does your car take? Like maybe seven hours? Yeah, silver, maybe. Yeah. The yeah. 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 planes take 100 loads, 100 octane fuel. 100 octane fuel. So wow. Just a little bit higher octane, but uh, a little bit of lag in the fuel, which cars don't have. Right, right, right. So that's the only thing. Okay. Wow. And this is a two seater? This is a four, four, four seater. Yep. All so, right. I'll get you all set up. All right. You got a name for her? I don't. Okay. She's good though? Oh, that's my favorite. What right year, now. Daniel? What year is this aircraft? This is an older one. Older this one? is, uh, I want to say 74. 1974, all right. But the thing with planes is, every, especially if they're ever getting like rented or you're using it for hire, right. every 100 hours of flight time, they have to get completely overhauled. So every 100 hours, which we knock out in like a month, if that. Yeah. It, well, the this entire is engine is taken apart, every bolt, every screw. Gotcha. So like, they have to be super well maintained. Gotcha. Okay. All the fuel guys love me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> my, uh, my one boss, I used to work back in the day. Yeah. When I was in high school, fuel and moving planes were at the same time. So, what do you check for? Is there any imperfections? Yeah, on? so as plates go, they get warm. Right. What happens. So, I'm just feeling for any major dents or chips that are bigger than like an eighth of an inch. Okay. Because that could damage the structural, the structural integrity of the plane. Okay. That's about it. And then, just like a car, we have an alternator that keeps the electric charge. Right. So I'm just checking the alternator belt right here, nice. which is good. Nice. And you're going to be the pilot today. If you'll be in the left seat, you'll be in the right. Okay. If you want to come take a peek. Okay. So that's what the interior looks like. Okay. So we have two sets of controls. So you'll be on the left, I'll be on the right. Both are connected, so you can't do something that I don't want you to pretty much. Right. Okay. Um, at any point, a little bit of a safety thing. If I ever say my flight controls, that means just move your hands, move your feet. Okay. Let me fly the plane. You got it. Either avoiding traffic or come back in a lane or something like that. Okay. Just make sure you're not touching anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, whenever I say your flight controls, just say my flight controls, and I'll verify, hey, it's your turn to fly. Okay. So if I go my controls, you go your controls. Okay. 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 And vice versa. Okay. So understood. That's understood. about the only safety thing. Now what I'm going to do, even though I flew this plane three times today, okay. I'm going to do a pre-flight inspection where I okay. just make sure everything works okay. as it should. So if you wouldn't mind, just taking a step to the right. Sure. And just over the crush your head. Sure. So the first thing I look for is I do the Okay. Now this is standard, green on the right, Always. red on the left. And then a red like, uh, beacon light at the top. Beacon on the top. Yeah, so right wing always says green lights, left wing always says red. Okay. It's because if you're flying at night, it allows you to see which direction a plane for us in front of you would go. Wow. So if you see a green light, you know it's moving, moving from right to left. To right then, to left. Yeah. Perfect. So, wow. I'm telling you, I learned a lot in the last half hour. <laughs> yeah, man. And like I said, I don't expect you to retain any of the information or right. anything, it's just an intro. I'll right. take your headset, I'll plug okay. it in and set it up for you. Okay. Alright. Right out of here. Wow. Okay. We should already go down. Okay. So that's it. Uh, you'll see it's going to be easiest to fly with one hand. So you're going to okay. use your left hand. Right, right, and right. Just two to three fingers, or you could grip it like this, however you want. And that's just the right way of flying. Of flying. You'll okay. see it's very little control. Like if you want to turn, this is all you need. Right. And the whole thing is once you're in a turn, you don't need to keep the turn in the yoke. Because now you'll just be crooked and turning. Right, so like a boat. Yeah, so you can straighten it out, and you'll still stay in that turn. Like a boat, gotcha. Exactly, awesome, that's what I was saying. Dude. Awesome, Um Wow. Beyond that, if you get hot or cold, yeah. uh, you have an air vent right here. Okay. So you can push it in, close it, twist it, and it'll lock, or you pull it out. Uh, the only thing I ask is make sure that the air is just not blowing in your mic, because it'll pick it up and gotcha. it drives me nuts. Perfect, gotcha. Um, any questions, problems, concerns beyond that?
Uh, no, Dan, I'm in your hands. So uh, awesome. I trust you. Uh, I'm going to tell you to try and hold an altitude or try and hold a heading. What I mean by that is your altimeter is right here. So it's based above sea level. So the field elevation for this airport, how high we are above sea level, is 99 feet. You can see the snake down the altimeter here. So the little hand is hundreds, the big hand is thousands. And it reads like a clock. So if the little hand here is uh, the thicker hand is between the two and the three, that means you're 2,000 and whatever the other one is. So it reads like a clock, like you're almost to three. Gotcha. Just like that. Okay. Um, the other thing that you're going to focus on is your heading, which is right here. Yeah, we'll match it to the compass once we get everything started. And you'll just see, um, I'll tell you to turn to like 300, which would be the 30, or 330, which would be the, the 33. Everything just add a zero behind it. So north is 360 or north, south is 180 or south, 090 is east, or 270 is west, and that's it. And you'll see, it's okay. just in between. What's halfway between 24 and 30, it's 27. Okay. okay. And then, um, yeah, and I'll help you out with everything. It's mostly gonna be like, hey, give me a left 180, give me a right 180, stuff like that. I'm not gonna really assign you too many headings or anything. Um, like I said, I know it's going to sound really overwhelming. Yeah, it is. It is. I, uh, <laughs> it's going to be exciting to grab this yoke and uh, wow. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, just going to check the controls. So as I go left on the yoke, you can see that left aileron goes up. So you can see from now it's neutral, right. it goes up. The right one is deflected down. The right so, one is yeah. deflected down, right. And now if I go right, it's inverse. So the Got right you. goes up, left goes down. Gotcha. So now if I pull back, look behind your shoulder. So you'll see if I pull back, the elevator gets deflected right. up and deflected down. Perfect. And then the last thing is the rudder, which is our feet, which you can see right and left there. Wow, cool. So that's what all of the actual controls move. Okay, and uh, the feet is only on the ground. So you uh, use the feet a little bit in the air, but not nearly as much as anything else. Okay. You won't need to worry about it in the air at all today. Okay. It's just to do something which is to maintain coordination. Okay. Which means you're not just like sliding either way, left or right. Gotcha. It just keeps you straight like an arrow. Okay. But you don't need to worry about that today. Okay. Okay. Uh, so other One other thing, never touch the red lever. Okay. That's our mixture. You pull that, the fuel flow stops to the engine. Okay. That's our mixture. <laughs> okay. Bad day. Okay. We're going to be climbing out of here pretty soon. Okay. We can start up. So I'm just gonna go clear left, clear center, clear right, clear behind. Everything is clear. Everything is good. And you got built-in sunglasses if you need to. Very nice. Very nice. Start it up. Okay. Of course, it wants to be a pain. Yeah. Just give it one second to cool off. Okay. Everything else is good. Sometimes when the engine's hot, it doesn't start right away. There she goes. Black lever is your throttle. You don't really have to worry about it too much. I'll tell you what you need. Okay. Um, if you want to put your headset on now, it's so okay. you need a little bit yeah. more.
So no single engine planes have reverse. Don't have reverse, right. No, just leave it right there. Okay, okay. Actually, can you move it now? You want it in the back? One in the back? Yeah, just no, take it like back further. Oh, back further. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Perfect. All right. You got it, man. Thank wow, you. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that was an experience. I cannot explain. Words do not <laughs> do not explain what I'm feeling right now. Pretty cool. Really cool, guys. Even if you don't or you don't want to be committed to the full class of training, going through the eight nine nine month program, guys, do an introductory course with Daniel. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Get you up in the air for over an hour let you fly the plane let you turn right let you turn left let you nose dive let you pull up guys i've learned a lot in the last two hours here and man the knowledge is sexy and being up in the skies is even sexier you're away from all the bullshit. you're above all the drama and stress so really is a good feeling uh man, so much to learn though guys so much to freaking learn can't even can't even amount to the the knowledge that you need to know and the one thing you got to really really um keep track of is the communication communication with the air traffic control tower pretty pretty in depth wow and that was invigorating guys that was amazing those of you that want an experience of a lifetime go check out the heritage flighting academy over at macarthur airport in ronkonkoma wow on long island in new york wow that's all i have to say uh daniel was a gentleman big thumbs up to him 23 years young got over 1500 hours of flight time of flight experience training where he can go be a commercial airline captain or wow instrumental pilot there's a ton of licensures for flying and man amazing we've gained a ton of knowledge in these last two hours you know when he said okay it's your flight it's your control it's your yoke the steering wheel on a plane is called the yoke so that i didn't know guys i learned a ton a ton but when he said it's my flight and it's my yoke and he gave me the command and the controls. Wow, guys, it's like it's like steering a boat. The slightest touch of that steering wheel or that yoke, that plane wants to go. The slightest. And if you jam that yoke, you're going with it. So the amount of G-force that is put on you when you do a nosedive or when you come up, man, is 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 unreal. But we're not getting any, you know, we're not going crazy with that, but um, you know there is some g-forces that they put on you in order to pass the exam i think it's like two and a half g's or something like that he mentioned um because i'm not a fan of doing any flips or 360s upside down in an aircraft no that's not for me i just want to leisurely cruise like we did today and that was awesome we worked on our 180 turns our 360 turns and you know as you're going into a turn on an aircraft that plane naturally wants to nosedive so as you're turning you got to pull that yoke up so you could point that nose up into the sky so we flew at about 3,000 feet on our altitude and uh man just learned a ton man learned a ton really great experience um i could see myself doing this for the past for the next six to eight months so we can get that license and we could uh one day obviously on an aircraft that's going to be awesome so guys those of you who need a recommendation i highly recommend heritage flight academy out in ronkonkoma uh ask for ben at the front desk and then request daniel because the guy's got a ton of knowledge and ton of experience only 23 years young so guys on that note stay blessed stay safe fly high and like always let's do yours next baby